so. Today we're going to start with a warm up. We'll be seated, okay? So, everyone, I want you to sit kind of close to the edge of the chair, not leaning back on it too much so we can work some of those posture muscles. We are going to start with 10 big arm circles going from backwards to forwards, okay? So, arms out. We're going to go back and around. One, two, nice and big. Three, wide fingers. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's reverse it and let's count backwards. Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Uh, feet apart a little bit. We're going to take one arm. We're going to reach over and stretch. Take one nice big deep breath here. In through the nose, out through the mouth, and then come back. Now we're going to do the other side. Big reach over like you're tipping a teapot. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. I'm going to do that one more time each side. So we're tipping over. We're stretching the arms. Breathe in and out. Good. Other side. Really spread those fingers. Breathe in and out. Very good. Okay. I want you to take one hand. Reach for the opposite knee. Free hand going to reach for the back of the chair, and you're going to try to turn your spine and take two nice deep breaths here, okay? Good. Carefully come forward. We're going to do the other side. So take your other hand, reach it across the opposite side. Your free hand will take the back of the chair, and you're trying to twist and turn to stretch the opposite way. Take two deep breaths here. Good. Okay. If you're able, I'm going to have you put your hands close to the back of your neck or the back of your head. If you can't, you can always put them on your shoulders. We're going to bend forward and arch the back forward, and then you're going to come up nice and tall and bring those elbows back. Good. One. We're going to do 10 of those. Coming down, coming up. Two. Good. Down, back up. Three. Good. Down, stretch up nice and tall. Four. Down, five. Really feel that stretch. Come down, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Seven. Good. Eight. Back down. Nine. Down. Last one. Ten. Very good. Okay. Next, let's warm up our feet a little bit. So, I'm going to have you guys, I'm going to scoot back just a little. I want you to put both legs out in front of you so my knees are straight. Okay, and they're a far apart. My toes are up towards the ceiling, okay? We're gonna do nice wide open arms. We are gonna try to reach to our opposite toes to stretch our backs and the back of the thigh, and then we're coming back up. So you're reaching across. Hopefully you'll feel a pull on the back of the thigh and come back up. Good, we'll reach over. This is three and up. Switch sides, reach over, four, good. We're going to do 10, reach over, five, feel that stretch, six, reach over, seven, switch, eight, two more, nine, last one and 10. Okay, let's try bringing 
one knee up to chest if you can. You can either grab above the knee or under the thigh. And I want to try 10 ankle circles. Ready? So let's try clockwise first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's switch. Counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're going to switch legs, okay? So put that leg down. Try grabbing the other one. We'll start with clockwise circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're switching it up, going the opposite way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay. So that was our warm up for today. Hopefully we're feeling a little bit more flexible after that. To start, we're going to start with the upper body and a core circuit. So if you have either a hand weight or something to hold on to to give yourself some resistance, if you want to go grab that or bring it closer to you for the next exercise, feel free. I'll give you guys a minute or two before I start. I also need to set up my intervals on here. I'm hoping you guys can still hear me, right? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, very good. I'm nervous that my phone might disconnect, so. All right, once I see people come back, then I will show the four exercises we will be doing, and then we will start. We will be exercising for 50 seconds, and then we will be resting for 15 seconds in between, okay? I'm going to give it maybe 20 more seconds. All right, so I will show them again as we do them because I will be doing them with you. So our first one is called a halo. So you can do this standing or seated, okay? You take the weight. I like to hold it on the two ends of the weight, okay? You're going to sit up nice and tall, okay? And then you're going to bring that weight around your head and then back to your chest. And then I want you to switch directions and go the other way, okay? So it's really important to make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. That way we get our core muscles engaged, okay? So we'll just be alternating clockwise, counterclockwise for that one, okay? The next one, I'm going to grab two weights. You do not need weights if you don't want. We're going to hold them out to the side, and then we're going to do an opposite knee to elbow crunch, making sure we're sitting up nice and tall in between crunches, okay? So you're bringing the elbow to the knee. Those arms are too tired. You can always go no weight. If it's too heavy to hold the arms up, you can bring them down and do it a little lower, okay? Now, our third one, it's going to be a power step. So you're gonna do one big step out to the side. Your arm that is the opposite of the one that you stepped with is going to punch towards the side that you step to, and then we bring it back. So to show again, let's say I stepped out with my right foot, my left arm's punching towards the right, coming back, and then we will switch. So left leg, right arm, bring it back. So it's kind of a two part. Step, punch across, bring it back. Step, punch across, bring it back, okay? And then, our last one is going to be a front raise to a side raise. As we do that, though, I want you guys to march in place, okay? So I'll leave it up to you if you want to use the weights or not. They're too heavy, okay? 
And any of these can be done standing, okay? So I'm going to do the first round seated, and then I will do the second round standing. If you want to say seated for both, that is okay. If you want to join me in standing the second round, that is also okay. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start with that halo. So you're bringing it around to the chest, and then we're reversing it. Good. Making sure our tummies are tight. No leaning forward, trying to sit up nice and tall. Bringing our chest towards the ceiling. Good. And then switching. Good job, everyone. Good. Yep, really stretching, really working that core. Try to focus on that posture. Good, we have less than 10 seconds, okay? Almost there. And rest. Okay, I'll have to say the rest time since my counter won't beep because I think I'm on the phone call, so. All right, next one we're gonna do is that, that crunch, okay? So we're going knee to elbow. Good. Making sure we're sitting up nice and tall between. Good. Good. So we are getting some kind of twist here in our trunk. This one might be challenging if we try it standing. We really have to be able to balance on one foot. We can always give it a try next round or this round if you are confident in your ability to stand on one leg. Almost there, three seconds. And rest, very good. Okay, in 10 seconds, we're gonna start our step with our opposite arm punch, okay? All right, let's start. So step, punch, bring it back. Good, switch, step, punch, bring it back. Good, try to exaggerate those movements. Nice big step, big punch. Good, stepping. Really lift that knee up when you're marching it over. Trying to make a big arc with that leg, good. Big punch. Good, if you want, you can try to speed it up as long as you can maintain those big movements. We got five seconds. And rest, very good. Okay, last one we have our, our raises, our forward, and then side raise while we're marching, okay? Are we ready? Okay, forward, side, forward. Good, keep those legs moving. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Good. I find it a little challenging to coordinate the legs and the arms. You guys seem to be doing a very good job. Good. Forward, out to the side, forward. Good, 10 seconds, keep it up. Almost there, keep pushing. Good, three, two, one. Very good. All right, that was our first time through. That looked awesome from over here. You guys can grab a drink of water if you need. We are gonna do those same four exercises, okay? I'm gonna do it standing the second round. Um, the marching and then the elbow to knee takes a lot of balance, so please use your discretion. 
on that. If you want to try some of them standing and then go back to seated as well, that's an option as well. They don't have to all be standing or all be seated. But we're going to do the same exercises, okay? So if you see me standing doing it, you can do the same seated, okay? All right. One weight, we're gonna start with that, that halo exercise. So we're standing up, we're going around, switching sides, kind of bringing it to the chin. Good, same motion if you're seated, really trying to not rely on the back of the chair. That way you have to use your seated posture muscles. Good job, everyone. Good, we got 15 seconds. Good, keep it up. And rest. Okay. So this next one, if you want to try it standing, it does take single leg balance. So if you want, you can do it with a chair next to you and then do it halfway or you can do it seated, okay? Ready? So opposite knee, elbow to knee, good. Same sequence if you're sitting, okay? Good. Nice up tall posture between. Good job, everyone. I really wish I had my music working. Good. We have about 10 seconds. If you want to try speeding it up the last 10 seconds, really get that heart working. Good, okay, rest. All right, next we have our step out to the side with a crossover punch, okay? We will be alternating, ready? Step, punch, step back, good. Step, punch, come back. Good. You feel like you need a chair in front of you if you're standing. Use one. Good. Make sure we're alternating sides. Big step. Make sure you're turning that trunk when you punch. Good. Seeing some real big punches. That's awesome. Almost there, five seconds. And rest. Okay, last but not least, we have our forward and outward raises with a march. Again, this takes single leg balance, okay? If you're standing, ready. So we're marching and we're lifting. Good. Make sure we're sitting up nice and tall. Good, everyone. Big lift of those knees. Good. Halfway done. The weights get too heavy. Always keep doing it without them. But we have less than 10 seconds. You can keep pushing, keep going. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job, everyone. I saw some people standing. I saw some people doing both, which is great. All right, if you guys need a rest or some water, We'll take a minute here before we do our second circuit. 
This one can be done seated or standing. I will go through the first round seated first, and then the second round I will try standing. Um, do you want to start both standing or do both seated? Like I said, that is okay. Let me put this down. Okay, so still we're going to do four exercises. We have time. We might do this one three times in a row. If not, we will do it twice, but that will determine on the time. So our first one, we're going to start hands and knees together, leaning forward. And then it's going to be like a power up, but your legs are going to go out as well. So you're going to kind of make a star with your body. So we're coming down, we're leaning forward. And then we're coming up. Okay. If you want to try it standing, you can do like a squat and then almost like a jumping jack. You can do, you can jump both at the same time. You want to do one leg and then one leg standing. That's a, an option. Okay. Our next one, if you need a, um, some kind of device in front of you, like a walker or a cane or a chair. I want to challenge you guys to try a sit to stand with the power up, okay? And then back down, nice and slow on the way down. So coming up fast and then down low. If that isn't an option, you can put your hands on the chair and then try to lift your bottom up and then back down like you're going to stand. So like a forward lean and back. So from the side, it kind of looks like this. You're able to stand all the way up, um, go for it. If you have a, a device in front of you, you don't have to do the hands, you can hold on to the device, okay? Then we have one foot is going to step back, kind of under the chair, and then I want your opposite arm to go forward. Okay, so hopefully we have chairs where we can put our toe kind of underneath the seat. Nice big fingers. If we're standing, you will do a step back, but opposite arm will go forward. And you can do that by a wall or a chair if you need as well. Then the last one, if you want to use a weight, you can. We're gonna do five diagonal chops each side. So imagine going from your pocket on a diagonal up. So we'll do five one way, then we'll switch pockets or hips that we come from, and we'll do five this way, okay? So let me get my timer. I will do it with you guys. I know it's a lot to remember. All right, we're going to start with that star, ready down, up nice and big, back down, lean forward, up, good. It is very much like a power up, and we're also getting those legs to stretch. You might even feel a stretch on the back of the thighs, the calves, good. Good. Try to make your bodies as big as possible. Go down. Up. Awesome. Almost there. Ten more seconds. You got it. Five. Good and rest. Okay. Next, we have our sit to stand or our lean forward with a bottom lift, okay? If standing is challenging, please use a device or however you usually stand. So we're coming up, standing up, really stretching, coming back down, okay? If this isn't an option, you can always do that lift. 
you need a chair in front of you, please use one. I want everyone to be safe. Good, as we come up, really stretching. And then back down, trying to control that sit. Up and stretch. Control back down. Good, we have 10 seconds. Good, we got time for one more if you can. Very good, and rest. Okay, next one is the one leg kind of goes underneath the chair, opposite arm comes up, okay? So back and then forward, good. So there's a little bit of lean at your trunk forward as you're reaching forward. Good. Still on the way back, sitting up nice and tall. Trying to get opposites to move together. Hope we can work on making it more fluid. That makes it more challenging. We're just increasing the amount of movement we have. Good, everyone. Good, 10 more seconds. Keep pushing. Five. Good, and rest. Okay, I'm gonna grab my weight for this next one. You do not need to grab a weight. You can always clasp your own hands, okay? All right, I'm gonna start from my right hip and move up. One, two, remember we're on a diagonal, three, four, five. Very good, I'm switching hips. One, two, three, good job. Four, five, and we're switching. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. All right, first time through, I thought it, from what I could see, it looked like it went well. I'm gonna do the second circuit standing. So you can always go from seated to standing depending on the specific exercise, but just to show uh, a different version of the exercise, okay? You can always stay seated as well. All right, we ready to get into it? All right, we're gonna start with that seated or standing star. So coming down, up. You can always do one foot at a time. If you are safe enough to jump and do a jumping jack, you can also do that. Yep, nice slide, open fingers too. You can always add like a flick of your hands, so you put them into fists, and then as you open up, you also open the fingers. Like you're trying to dry them if they're wet. Good. Nice, I'm seeing a lot of big movements. So good. Three, two, and rest, okay. All right, next we have our sit to stand or our lean forward. All right, ready? So we're sitting, coming up nice and tall, slow on the way down, try to control it. So it's coming up, stretching, slow if we can control it. You need to use your hands on an armrest, that is okay. Good. 
there's a certain aspect of the exercise. I want you to focus on that. I know for me, it's trying to control the way down. It's very challenging. Works a lot of muscle, especially in the legs and the thighs. Good, one more. Okay, and rest. Next, we have our step back with our arm raise. I'm gonna do it standing though, okay? All right, you guys, let's begin. So we're stepping back, opposite arm going up. We have a little lean forward at our trunk. You need a chair next to you to hold on to. That is okay. Good. We can also add that finger flick to this one. As you're reaching up, spread those fingers wide. Good. 10 more seconds. And rest. Good. All right, I'm grabbing my weight. We have our chops next, sir. So I'm gonna put a little bit of space between my feet. I can also do this seated. All right, starting at my hip, coming up and above one. Start counting with me, two, three, four, five. Good, we're switching hips, one. Nice big voices, two, three, four, five. Switching, one, two, three, four, five. Switching again, one, two, Five. Very good. All right. Good news and bad news. It's the same news. We have time to go through that one again. So we're going to do that one again. You can do it seated or standing. You want to hold some weights for some of the exercises to make it harder. Even the star one, you can. We'll do this one one more time, and then I have more exercises to come. So you need a sip of water, you can take it real quick. If not, we're, we're gonna get straight back into this. All right, you ready? All right, we're gonna start seated or standing, starting down, coming up, down, good. Yep. Try to make your bodies as big as you can. If you don't have a weight in your hand, you can really try focusing on extending those fingers, trying to really pull them apart from one another. Make sure we're breathing. Good. If you want to add a jump to open up, you can. My leg says no jumping, so stepping. Very good. Okay. I'm bringing my chair back. We have our sit to stand or our lean forward with the bottom lift, okay? All right, ready? Good. Try to slowly come back down if you can. Good, yeah, up nice and tall, control it, good, if we're unable to stand working on that forward lean, 
will help with the mechanics to stand. Good, we have 10 more seconds. All right, I got time for one more. Good. All right, rest. Next one we have is the step back with the opposite arm lift, okay? So you do it seated or standing. You ready? So step back, arm up. Good. Resetting between each step. Standing or sitting up nice and tall. can always add a weight. You want to work that shoulder more. Good, everyone. All right, about 10 more seconds. If you want to speed it up, you can. Good, and rest. Okay, last one of this circuit. We have our, our diagonal chops, okay? We'll do five each side. I'm gonna start in my right hip, okay? So right hip up. We'll count out loud at home. Three, really try to project. Four, five. Good, switch hips, one, two, three, four, five. Good, switch hips, one, two, three, four, five. And switch, one, two, three, four, five, good. Woo, we finished that circuit three times. Quite impressive, guys. Okay, you guys can grab some water. We are moving on. So, for these next exercises, I'm going to set a timer. Let's do 45, okay. We are going to do an exercise all together, but as we do that, I also wanna work our brain and try some, um, some spelling as we do the exercise. So, as our first exercise I want to do is a knee with the opposite arm raise, okay? So let's just get this down first. Really trying to make sure it's opposite sides. And we're sitting up nice and tall. Good, all right, looks good on my end. Now, as we do that, I'm gonna give you guys a word to spell. And every lift I want to be a letter that you say out loud wherever you are at home, okay? But the word, we want to spell it backwards, okay? So if I gave you the word, um, I don't know, red, it would be D-E-R, okay? So not only are we moving our bodies, we have to think about the word, start with the last letter and go backwards, okay? So I will be giving you guys words. I apologize if I am incorrect, um, but hopefully you guys, I'll give you guys a second as we go through so you guys have a, a chance to answer, okay? All right, let's begin. So this will be the exercise. We're gonna go for a minute. Okay, good. So let's get in the rhythm first. All right, let's start with red. Ready, D, E, 
R. Good. Keep going. We're going to do the word blue. Ready? And E. U. L. B. Good. All right. So hopefully you guys are answering those at home. I hope I'm not giving you too many of the answers. We're going to do the word boat. Ready? And go. P. A. O. B. Good. Keep moving those arms and those legs. We're going to do the word swim. Okay? Ready? And go. M. I. W. S. Good. And rest. Okay. Can you guys tell I went up north this weekend? <laughs> I came up with all these words up north, like a boat in the blue lake. <laughs> so good. All right. So hopefully you guys are able to answer some of those at home. We are now going to switch, um, switch the movement, but we're going to keep using our brains. So instead of lifting up, you are going to kick out. So pick a leg to kick out, and your opposite arm is going to punch forward. Okay, and so we're alternating arms and legs. This will be our movement. Sorry, I can't kick that high. My legs are not that long. There, now you guys can see my kick. Okay, and then we will, the words are gonna become a little bit longer, okay? So we're still gonna spell them backwards. Are we ready? I will try to give you a few pauses in between words. All right, let's try just getting into the rhythm. Get your punches in, your kicks coordinated. That looks good to me. Okay, our word is going to be dance. All right, we're going to start. Three, two, one. E, C, N, A, D. Very good. Next word is tree. Outside in the wilderness, a tree. We'll start in three, two, one, and go. E, E, R, T. Good. Next word is yellow, the color yellow. We'll start in three, two, one, O, W, O, L, L, E, Y. That one kind of tripped me up a little bit. All right, and rest. Good. So hopefully that challenged not only the body, but the brain. Hopefully I spelled those correctly. Um, sorry if I might have missed a letter or two there. Okay, next we're going to do seated power, but we're also going to name the months of the year backwards, okay? So we're going to start with a power up. So we're starting down here and then coming up, okay? And then we'll come back down and up. As we do that, I want you guys, every time you come up, to name the months of the year, but backwards. So we are going to start with December, okay? And we were going to do 12 reps because there's 12 months of the year. I will name every other one. So please keep it, um, keep answering them at home, okay? So we'll start with December, ready? Down, December, good, go next. Should have been November, down, October, down, next one, down, then it should be August, down, next month, good, June, say the next one after that, April, 
after that. February. And last one, January. Good. So hopefully you would answer some of those yourself or you beat me to it for the answer. All right, next we're gonna do our seated power rock. We are going to alternate sides. So you back up a little. So whichever side of your body you're leaning on, that opposite leg goes out and you're reaching towards that side. So really making sure we're leaning, we're shifting our weight, and then we're extending. Good. So this will be our movement. We'll go back and forth. Okay. So now we're going to do same months of the year backwards, but I will only help with every third one. Okay. Are we ready? So we're going to do 12 repetitions. All right, let's we go. We'll start with December. So December, next month, next month, and we have September, next month, next month, June, next month, next month, March. Good. All right, we should have ended it at January, hopefully. Okay, next we have our power twist. So arms out, turning our bodies, bringing our hands together, make sure we're getting the hips moving, opening back up, twisting the other side, open back up, okay? I have a new um, task while we do this one. We are going to count down from 100 by threes, and we will end at one, two, three, end at 70 for this exercise, okay? So we'll start at 100, going backwards by three as we do our twist, okay? So let's start open. We're going to start with 100, ready? 100. 97, good, next, 94, 91, good, next is 88, 85, hopefully you guys are answering, 82, 79, 76, 73, and 70. Very good. All right, hopefully that was right. We're going to stick with 70 and we're going to work our way down by threes as we do our power step back in. So as we step out to the side, let's name one. So it'll be 70 and then we'll come back in. We'll name the next in the sequence and then we'll go to the other side, name a number, come back in, name a number. Okay, so we're going to start with 70, work our way down by threes. Let's say until we get to um, maybe 25. Let's see. We'll see how far we go. All right, ready? So we're going to step out, out, we'll say 70, back in. 67, out other side, 64, back in, 61, out, 58, back in, good, back out, should be 52, back in, 49, 46, Next number, 40, 37, good, keep going, name the next number, 31, 28, and 25. 
Very good. Hopefully that got the brain working as well as the body. All right, enough with counting and naming stuff backwards. Since we just did our seated power moves, let's do five flows of all of those sequences together. Then we'll do a cool down and then you guys can be on with your day. So what I mean by flows is I wanna put all of the power moves together, okay? So we're gonna start with our power up. So we'll start down, come up. Then we're going to do our rock. And then we're gonna switch sides, rock. Then we're opening up and we're twisting, twisting. Good. Then we're stepping, step, step, back together, step, step, back together. So that would be one, okay? So we're putting all of them together, making sure we're doing each side going through all four of the exercises. We're gonna do that five times in a row, okay? And I'd like you guys to count out loud at home, okay? So let's begin, ready? Down, up, good. Up, good. And now we're twisting, twisting, good. Stepping, center, that being out, other side, center. That is one. Good. Let's do it again. Down, up, reach and lean, other side. Now we're twisting, opening up, twisting, opening up. And now we're stepping out, back together, other side, out, back together. That's two. Down, up, reach, reach, good, twist, and up, twist, good. Now we're stepping, big steps. Really lift those legs, back to center, switching sides, back together. Is this three? Yeah, three? Okay. <laughs> Down, up, reach. Reach, good, now we're twisting, twisting. Good, get those feet ready, step out, back to center, switch sides, back together, that's four. Last one, down, up, good, reach, lean over and reach. Good, now we're twisting, Coming together, twisting. Good. Now our last steps. Out, out, back to in front of you, switching. Good. And that should be five. Hopefully. I might have added an extra one in there. I apologize. <laughs> okay, good job, everyone. We're gonna end with some stretching. Okay. So Let's start with, can we put our hands, legs together out in front? Then I want you to arch your back this way and then come back up and then push back, but then come back up. One more and then up. Okay, if you can, Grab the hands behind the back. If not, you can just keep your hands behind you or grabbing the back of the chair, okay? And then we're gonna try opening up and extending back this way and relaxing. And then stretching up, looking up, breathing down. You can't interlace those fingers, that's okay. You can just reach behind down. All right. Let's grab a shoulder, pull it across. We'll hold it here for a few seconds. If that hurts, you can always lower the angle. If lowering the angle of your arm still hurts, you don't have to do the stretch. So hopefully you're feeling a stretch on the back of the shoulder. Good. Shake it out. Let's do other side. 
falling over. Hopefully we're feeling a stretch on those shoulders. We use them a lot today in class. All right, let's get our wrists a little bit. We're going to start by putting palms together towards our head. Then you're going to keep those palms together as you try to lower it towards your belly. Hopefully you'll feel a stretch on either in your hands or the front part of your forearm. And then come back up. We'll do this three times. Pushing down, stretching those palms. Good, back up and coming back down. Feel that stretch. Good. All right, so now you're going to take the back of the hand. You're going to start from around belly button. You're going to try to keep the back of the hands together as we come up towards our chin, our face, and then back down. So this is stretching the opposite side of the wrist, good, back down, up, back down, one more, good, all right, I like to always get my wrists a little <laughs> stretched out, okay, let's move down to the legs, if you are able, let's try to bring one leg crossed over the other, if that is too much stretch, you can always lower your other leg and straighten it out. If you don't feel stretch here, you can always try to push that knee down towards the ground, but sometimes just holding this position is enough to stretch it. Take some nice deep breaths here. For some reason, I always like to roll my ankles. Good. All right, let's put that leg down. We're going to switch sides. So same thing. If you don't feel a stretch, you can try pushing that knee down. If you already feel a stretch, just holding this, then just hold it. I'm going to move my ankles a little bit while we're here. Good, and rest. All right, that is all I have for today. Thank you guys for participating.